Today April's going to be cooking some red Thai chicken curry. Now add two tablespoons of olive oil into a medium heated pan. Now for some of our ingredients, a handful of raisins, diced peppers and a half medium sized onion with grated ginger and garlic. Now for our meat, two skin chicken quarters, one teaspoon of dried coriander leaves, two tubs of small Greek yogurt, add grated ginger and garlic paste to the pan, two tablespoons full of red curry paste, add straight to the pan for one minute until fragrant. Add the chicken pieces until well coated with the curry paste. For our seasoning, we now have fish sauce, Worcester sauce, salt and pepper. Now cover and let simmer for 5 to 10 minutes. Yes, it really does smell as good as it looks. Now throw in the onions. If it's looking a bit dry, throw in about one third of a cup of water and then cover for five minutes more. Now we throw in the salt, pepper and a soupçon of sugar. Now we'll chuck in a bit of the old Worcester sauce, Lily and Perrins, quickly followed by a bit of our fish sauce. Simmer away nicely there, I'm starting to feel hungry. What about you? Give it a bit of a stir, make sure it's not sticking anywhere. After about 20 minutes you can start to see the meat is getting so succulent and juicy that it's starting to fall off the bone. In goes our raisins, then the peppers, stir them in nicely. Now throw in our Greek yogurt. Stir it in gently. Now add the coriander. It's always best if you can get it fresh. Now plate and serve using your favourite rice. We, we didn't do the rice ourselves because we know some people like jasmine, some people like basmati and the whole point here is to actually encourage people to eat great food. All right, thanks for watching.